A few weeks ago, I did a video on how you can get some integration between Microsoft 365 and Chrome OS, because Microsoft 365 works great on the Chromebook, but there's no integration, but Google and Microsoft are working on that. And I was reading an article on about Chromebook's website, and I was quite shocked that the integration is already actually starting to take place. So previously, as you can see here, I had my one drive integrated but to do that i was using a third party app so i'm going to remove that now so if i go to manage extensions and it's this file system for onedrive so i'm going to turn it off and i'm going to also remove it like that and then that should remove that integration so you will now see there's no integration there because the third party app worked okay but if you can use the functionality within Chrome OS to get the same experience, then why would you not want to? So as you can see here, we've got Google Drive and that's there. And then we've got our downloads there as well. But if you try to open up a Word document in here, for example, then it would not open using Microsoft products, which is a bit frustrating so I'm just going to download this document here to show you what I mean um, to OneDrive and I'll just do this one here right click download so that's now downloaded so if we go to the file explorer there's a few things on the integration for example you go to downloads that is a Word document, so you want it to open inside Word, but if you right click, it's not got the option to do so. And we've also not got the OneDrive on our File Explorer, Chrome OS File Explorer. So now the good news is you can get this integration. Now bear in mind, it is a Chrome OS flag, so do not expect it to work perfectly, and I'm sure it will change over time, but I've had a quick mess about with it, and it works, and it, it's really good. So I'm gonna show you what it does. So like I said, at the moment, if I went to open up this Word document, it would just open it, it's a password protected file, but that's fine. But it would open it in Google Sheets. It doesn't let you open it with inside Microsoft Word. And that's the problem with the integration. So what you need to do, if you go to here, and then just go to Chrome, colon, backslash, backslash, and then flags, hit return. And from here, just type in Office, there and it's this one here upload hyphen office hyphen to hyphen cloud enable office file office files upload to workflow so let's change that to enabled like that and then you hit the restart button and then your computer's restarted and then if you open up your file explorer You'll see there's no difference at the moment, but if we, let me just go back because that file I've downloaded is password protected. So we just want to get another file. Let me just go into Microsoft 365 um, and I will create a Word document here. Just wait for this to start. A Word doc. There we go. And document two, it's called there, as you can see. So if we just close that now, and open it back up. And that's it there, document two. If we download that, um, to OneDrive, document two, where is it? There we go there. Right click on it, download. That's downloaded. So that's now here in our downloads. But if you open it up, now you can see you've got this extra option here. Or if we don't do that, if we press cancel and right click on it, you'll see open with, and you've got Microsoft 365. So that's what you do. So you click on that, so at the moment you don't see any options, but we'll see them in a bit. 
click Microsoft 365, click on Microsoft 365. And the one thing I will say is I've already got Microsoft 365 installed. When I tried this on my Pixelbook, um, it installed it again as if it just oh, doesn't even look to see if it's installed, it just installs it. But it is a flag, it just meant I had two Office 365 PWAs installed. I just had to uninstall one, no big issue. But if you click on that there, like that, and then click open, and then you've got it up here, here. set up Microsoft 365 to open files, install Microsoft 365, connect to Microsoft OneDrive, files are moved to OneDrive when opening your Microsoft 365. And I'll, we'll talk about that in a second, how that works. So then click on get started and then install the app. It seems to have not looked at the fact that it's already installed, but that's fine. Okay, and then that's done. And then connect to Microsoft OneDrive to open files in Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 uses OneDrive to open and edit Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. So it's the OneDrive that is, is being used to do it, which is fine. So it's a bit like your Google Drive. I always go to my Google Drive to use Sheets or Docs. I never just go into Sheets and Docs because it's, you can then easily choose where you want files saved. And I do the same with OneDrive, so I would suggest doing the same as well. So connect to OneDrive. Can't connect to OneDrive, try again. Let's try again. That's quite strange. So I didn't have this problem earlier when I tried it on my Pixelbook. Right, let's try it again. Cancel setup. Right, so open with Microsoft 365, Microsoft 365, open, get started, connect. Hmm, not sure why that's doing that. Okay, so a few issues. The only thing I can think of was that my Pixelbook I updated to Chrome OS 115 and my CX5 Chromebook I had not done. So I've just updated this to 115. It was on 114 and that may be the reason why it wasn't working. So let's have a go and see if it works. This is all good, obviously, because if you have these issues, then you'll know why it is, but I might be speaking too soon. Let's have a look. Let's go to downloads, um, right click on the document, open with Microsoft 365, choose Microsoft 365, open, get started and then connect. There we go, so that's it. So that's the, if you do have that issue, it is just a case that you needed to connect to, um, you needed to update to 115 from 114. Okay. Um, there we go. And just log in. And now you've got, let this app access your info. You just need to say accept. So you're just giving all that information over, accept. And that's it, so Microsoft 365 set up complete, hit done, and move and open. So move one file to Microsoft OneDrive to open. So we did it on this document here. So what it's saying is it's gonna move that over to OneDrive. Now I know this might seem like a bit of a clunky way of doing it. Maybe in the future once the flags are actually there completed, it will be a totally different way, but this is the way that you can get it to work at the moment. So just do move and open, and it's moved that over to OneDrive. So what this means now is, if you have a look now on here, on your file explorer, you'll see that you've got the integration, and that's without the third party app. So you've got the Google Drive there, and you've got your Microsoft OneDrive there. So that's really good. So you've now got that integration without using the third party app. Do bear in mind it may change because it's a flag, so don't expect it not to change. Now you'll see here that this is now in OneDrive document two. And the reason for that, let me just download it again. <coughs> um, let me go back into OneDrive. So it's document two here, and document two one, because it's made a copy, because there's a document two already there. But if we download this again, I'm just gonna show you how it works. So if you do have a file downloaded, 
for example, in there. When you now, when you right click and do open with and you do Microsoft 365, you don't have to go through that setup process again. It will just open it up in Word rather than just Office Docs, which is good. And you can also see that it's now the default. So that type of document is now set to default to open as Microsoft 365. You could, of course, change the default by there and change it back to Google Docs or whatever you want to do. But that's now set as default. Now, if you open up a Word document or an Excel document, um, in, and it's in downloads in your on your Chromebook locally. It will <coughs> sorry, it will move the file to OneDrive because it's OneDrive that opens the file. So it move the file from your downloads <coughs> into OneDrive. If it's not local, so it's in um, my Google Drive, for example, then it shouldn't do any moving of the file. It won't move the file. It will copy the file. So if it's in your downloads, it will move the file. So the file will be taken out your downloads and it will be on OneDrive. If you open it up on Google Drive, it takes a copy of it. So it keeps the original in Google Drive and it puts a copy in OneDrive. So it does mean slight duplication of files. Maybe that will get better in the future. Uh, I'm trying to work out what the best way it would be in the future, how to work. But essentially now, if you do double click on that now, this is just giving you, you can say don't ask again. This is just telling you that it's gonna move one file to Microsoft OneDrive to open. So if we do don't ask it again, I won't on this occasion, and then move it open, and now that will open it up in OneDrive. So it's that's, that's the integration so far. It's not perfect, and I'm sure it's gonna get much better, but the good news is that you've now get the integration, like I mentioned a few weeks ago with the other video I did when I used a third party app, that Microsoft and Google have said that they will be working together to get them to integrate well, which is really good, because I do like OneDrive, but it's a bit difficult how, if you don't have OneDrive in your file explorer, the, the integration's up there. Yes, it needs to get much better, but we're going, we're heading in the right direction. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.